Stan Gibalisco here to explain how a transistor can operate as a direct current switch where you can use a small current to switch a large current. This uh, what you're looking at here is an NPN bipolar transistor, the schematic symbol for an NPN transistor. E refers to the emitter, base, and collector. Normally, the collector is positive with respect to the emitter in terms of direct current voltage, but we can change the voltage on the base to control what happens to the conductivity between the emitter and the collector. In general, if you make the base more and more negative in voltage, you will end up cutting off the transistor so that it can't conduct. On the other hand, if you make the voltage positive on the base, the transistor will conduct more and more. If you make the voltage positive enough, then further increases in this base voltage in the positive direction will not have any further effect on the conductivity of the transistor and we call that particular situation saturation. On the other hand, if you make the voltage negative enough, then the transistor won't conduct even for relatively large voltages between the emitter and the collector and we call that condition cutoff. Now the interesting thing about that situation is that a relatively small current between the emitter and the base can control a very large amount of current between the emitter and the collector. That's the principle in fact by which a bipolar transistor amplifies. So let's suppose for a moment that you want to remotely control, oh let's just say for the sake of argument, a 12 volt electrical system. Say for example, oh I don't know, say on a boat. A 12 volt electrical system. You connect the emitter to ground and you connect the collector to your positive 12 volt supply which supplies all the stuff on your boat with 12 volts DC which is a pretty common operating voltage for an electrical system on a boat. So you have a circuit like this in your output. Now you want to switch that 12 volts on and off, say remotely, by using a much smaller current at the base. All you have to do, basically, you can use two little batteries like this. One of them supplies a positive voltage let's just say for the sake of argument maybe positive three volts two little double A flashlight cells in series then another battery supplies well let me go back up here another battery supplies negative voltage so Now let me move that up a little higher. We'll get there. Another battery supplies say minus three volts. Same situation, two little double A flashlight cells. Then we connect the base through a resistor and a switch. 
and we can and it's just a very small switch at a remote location when the switch is at the minus three volts position this transistor gets cut off and all the electrical systems on the boat are shut off when you switch that switch over to the positive three volt supply this resistor here is serving to limit the current between the emitter and the base so that the transistor isn't burned out. When you switch that over to the positive 3 volts, this transistor conducts pretty much perfectly because it's in a state of saturation. When you have the switch over here at the minus 3 volts, it's in a state of cutoff, no current flows. You switch the switch over to the other position voila all the electrical systems on your boat are activated very simple arrangement and you can do this by remote control this um, this wire here can be quite long and you can have this transistor on your boat and then say from your from your cabin or whatever you want that electrical system on your boat to be switched off you have a little switch in your cabin a little wire running up to your switch you can just uh, control the you can fire up the boat when you're about ready to go down and use it and then you can turn it all off with all, everything on the boat to save the battery on the boat from being demised by slow discharge and believe me that uh, that's not any fun when you have a dead battery on a boat Stan Gibalisco signing off that's how a transistor can operate as a DC switch just one example you'd want to use a power transistor for this type of application and you'd want to get one with the right specifications so that you're sure that these are the right voltages. Until next time, enjoy that boat. Have a good trip. So long.